everybody, my name is Buna Isaac Bear with Mary Sign Slap. Happy Martin Luther King Day. And today, we're going to be doing an AP Calculus problem. Saborno Isaac completed solving one million calculus problems. We're going to draw a cylinder. All right, that looks like a pretty good cylinder to me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is let's say that this cylinder is partially filled up with water at the time t equals zero. So this little mark shows where the water was at at the time t equals zero. Let's just put it over here instead. Okay, and then water starts flowing in at a constant rate. And eventually, it gets to the halfway point of the circle, right around here, at t equals 4. And then, finally, over here, h is the depth of the water. Then, from what interval is of t is dh over dt increasing? Uh, so basically, they're saying, if a is less than t, which is less than b, okay, sorry. To phrase it another way, what is the time interval over which dh over dt is increasing? So let's think about this. Over, so if we draw, let's imagine it like a circle. So let's, let's look at the front face. So we already know this is at t equals zero, and uh, this is at t equals 12, but the crucial thing to note is that t equals 4 is right in the middle of the circle, straight through the middle. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that the width of this circle increases from here until here, and then the width of the circle starts decreasing. If the width starts increasing, then the time to fill up that layer starts increasing as well. And if the time increases, then the, to uh, the rate at which the depth changes will decrease since it's going at a constant rate. And then over here, it's the opposite because the width is decreasing. So if the width is decreasing, then the time is also decreasing, and thus the rate at which a, a height increases will increase. So that means that the answer would be four is less than t is less than 12 is our interval. That's it. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.